What's Ethereum? Ethereum is the one-stop solution to run an Ethereum node, the easy way. So Ethereum originated in the beginning of 2020 when we started with the Docker Compose setup. Um, and now we have a full-fledged UI um, that is focused on ease of use and um, flexibility. So how do you set up Ethereum? So the, big, the, the requirements are you need some kind of a desktop, like a Windows, um, Linux desktop, or a Mac OS. And you need some Ubuntu 22.04 to uh, run the node on. Uh, we will support um, other operating systems later on, but for now we are stuck with Ubuntu. And this is how it looks. You, start, you download the software, start it, and this greets you. So um, you just enter your SSH credentials of the Ubuntu um, I mentioned earlier. We support um, password authentication as well as um, SSH keys, of course. Um, then the Ethereum launcher uh, checks your operating system, if it's supported or not. It gives you a thumbs up. After that, just click on the one-click installer, and you can choose between uh, running on mainnet or testnet. In this example, we just run on testnet and set up a staking node. After that, um, you can see the setup already pre-chose a execution client and a consensus client. This is, of course, changeable, so the user can easily, with the just clicking on it, choose something else. Right now, we, ha uh, we support uh, three execution clients, three different execution clients, and four different um, consensus clients. You can also use uh, Checkpoint Sync if you like. Uh, it's a little bit faster than um, syncing from scratch. The next screen will just confirm what you just entered. It shows you where, to inst where it will get installed and uh, what gets installed. And you might notice there is also some um, monitoring tools installed, namely Prometheus and Grafana. And then the setup already starts. It um, downloads some operating system packages, installs them. That's all for making Ethereum work on your Ubuntu. Um, after that, it also configures the firewall and, of course, writes some configuration files for Ethereum itself and the services. And that's how it looks when it's done. Then we have the control page. This is really nice because on the left side you have all the, um, all the uh, services that are running. And in the middle and the right side is a big panel that shows a lot of widgets. Some of them are still work in progress. But it shows you the sync status. It shows you um, how many peer counts you have from the different services. Also some other stats from the host, like um, CPU usage and memory usage. And that's done in three minutes. So how about staking? Well, that's the staking screen. Looks quite similar, right? Um, and it's pretty easy to stake. You just drag and drop the files, the JSON key files, uh, on the Serum launcher, or you press the big button on the bottom. And then a file selector appears. You can choose them. That's it. Serum will ask you where you want to stake them. You might notice the small button at the bottom. So we also support, we will soon support multiple um, validator clients to stake on. Then you just enter the password. And the staking process starts. Uh, the import process starts. If it's successful, so if your password was correct, then the staking um, starts already. And the staking key gets listed in the list. On the right side, you can also modify the graffiti you will use. And of course, you can remove the keys in case you want to migrate to another Ethereum server. On the top of the page is always two small buttons. That's for Grafana and Prometheus. You can easily access them. Just click on the button, and the uh, and Ethereum will open up a tab or a window of your default browser of your OS, and um, make an SSH tunnel to access your uh, Grafana and Prometheus directly. So how do you configure and make it a little bit more customizable? What we see here is the service configuration, 
we have an expert mode where you can basically configure uh, the whole thing. Um, you can edit uh, or add and remove flags from uh, Tico, for example, here. Um, you can also tinker with the Docker settings that we use. The other two options are uh, a little bit easier to configure because it's not text-based. It's just, yeah, select how much uh, memory limit Tiku has. And, of course, for uh, stakers, very important, uh, the default fee recipient. We also provide an update panel that shows you not only the launcher's um, version, but also the notes version and, of course, the service versions. All updates will be all available updates will be, of course, on this panel, visible to the user. Also, some other settings for Sterium itself. Well, what's next for Sterium? First of all, in the next couple of weeks, we will release a new update that will introduce uh, custom installations. These custom installations will allow the user to not only, um, not only remove services they don't like, but also add new services. It will also enable them to run multiple um, consensus clients, execution clients, validator services on the same machine. This is just a small peek of what features we already implemented and what will come in the near fu future. So we also have an impact booth just around the corner. Um, if you have any questions, please drop by and we will show you how to set it up and answer all your questions because unfortunately my time is already running out. See you, bye.